Happy Thursday, dolphins and butterflies. Today, we're going to learn about heating and cooling. Heating is when you raise the temperature of something, like heating up marshmallows over a fire or heating up our clothes in the dryer. Cooling is when you lower the temperature of something, like our freezer. It keeps our food cold. Or the cold air in the wintertime, it cools down our breath. Heating and cooling can cause changes that we can see. Some of these changes can be undone, but others can't. They're stuck there forever. What would happen if we heat up this solid stick of butter? Let's find out. Look, some of the butter melted. It changed into a liquid and took the shape of the container. Now let's cool it down by putting it in the freezer. What do you think will happen? Look at our butter. Our butter changed back into a solid which means that this is a change that can be undone. Now it's ready to spread on toast or pancakes. Here we have an egg. I've heated up this egg by changing it from a liquid to a solid. Let's see if when we cool it down, it turns back into a liquid egg. I got it out of the fridge and it was still solid, so I decided to make breakfast and put some cheese and salsa on top. Cooling my egg didn't change it back to a liquid, which means this change cannot be undone. Today, we're going to make a liquid rainbow by using the science of heating and cooling. You're going to need paper, crayons, tape, a piece of cardboard, a hair dryer, and some glue. I just got out one of each color, red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Peel off these wrappers. You don't want them. Next, glue your paper on the cardboard. Use tape to make a few rolls, like this. Now, place your crayons on in rainbow order. Red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Lean your canvas against something sturdy, like this. With the help of an adult, use a hair dryer at the highest setting to melt the tip of your crayons. This works because crayon is made of wax, which is solid. Make sure not to touch it until it cools. Heating wax makes it melt into a liquid, which drips down on the paper. Once the liquid wax cools down, it turns back into a solid. That makes it a change that can be undone. If you try this experiment today, take a picture and share it with us. Otherwise, test heating and cooling butter or an egg like I did to see how some changes can be undone and some changes can't be undone. Good luck, scientists. 